scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a sore. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore. Just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids. That's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job that's real big. Satan trying a little. My God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to. Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you. They was blocking the shine. Now I think it's my time to. Capping them dollar signs like lights, they'll blind you. Let me rewind to. Back when I was broken, I couldn't acquire two cents. And now I got two rents. They was sleeping on me, homie, must have got two bit. Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like canned food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world. My vision on Shamu. I mean, I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Your offer too little. Sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I got to do it big. That's the only way I can live. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. What sound experience would you like today? I'll have the Fantasy Pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Wow. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Yes, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a sore. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore. Just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job that's real big. Satan trying a little. My God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to. Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you. They was blocking the shine. Now I think it's my time to. Capping them dollar signs like lights, they'll blind you. Let me rewind to. Back when I was broken, I couldn't acquire two cents. And now I got two rents. They was sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big. Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like canned food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world. My vision on Shamu. I mean, I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Your offer too little. Sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I got to do it big. That's the only way I can live. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. What sound experience would you like today? I'll have the Fantasy Pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On his way, sir. Yes. 
Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars, is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just start I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a saw. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore. Just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids. That's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little. My God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards. It's real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to. Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you. They was blocking. To be you action. I know there's a lot of letters being thrown around there, but trust me, we're going to have a great time whether you understood them or not. I am Septilence, joined by the great and wonderful Kill Miles. For the first time ever, we've known each other for Ooh. ages, but this is our first ever broadcast together. And Miles, I don't know about you, man. I'm absolutely stoked just to see some Smash Ultimate. Oh, yeah. ECAC, it's always a fun time. And tonight, we got two pretty heavy hitters, four and one, the both of them. The College of Staten Island and uh, Lycoming College. Well, they're not quite undefeated, but they might as well be. Definitely yeah. playoff contenders. I mean, both of their losses came so early in the season that it can very easily be written off as jitters. Now, you're really getting into it. You're starting to get a feel for the crew battle format. Yeah. We'll see how they put on against, well... I mean, neither one of them want to drop their streak, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And the crew battle format, for those who may be familiar or may not, we'll kind of get into it, but it's basically, you know, they each have three lives. Whoever wins moves on to the next contestant with however many lives they ended with. You'll see how it works. We're going to do, we're going to go through, I believe it's going to be a best of three, so we're going to see a whole bunch of Smash Ultimate action either way. I'm stoked. I know we've got... A couple, I'm not going to say all, but I know we've got a couple of unique choices here from our players tonight, and I think that's going to be really interesting. Um, uh, I'll... Yeah, that's all I'm going to say for now. We'll, we'll see. We'll cross <laughs> that bridge when we get to it. But there were a couple choices where I was like, oh, that's statistically the character that's chosen the least in this game. Very excited to see them making an appearance. Hold on, hold on. I think I know what character you're talking about, and I almost don't believe you, but I trust you on that. But we don't have them up first, because instead we've got Sofrito coming in from the College of Staten Island. Now, Sofrito, one player I'm actually quite familiar with, because I saw them, I think, twice last year when I was covering ECAC. And, well, the Falcon's nothing to be messed with. And oh, absolutely. a rushdown character against a zoner, it's a very tricky situation, because you can get in and destroy them. But it's getting in. That's the hard part. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, last time I was here, actually, I watched a Captain Falcon 9 stock. So he um, just rolled house. I don't remember who it was. I just remember that it happened. Uh, the crew battle was won single-handedly by a Captain Falcon. It was pretty insane. This may be a button check, or maybe it's just nobody knowing really how to engage. The taunt kind of indicates, no, this is a game. Okay, we're, we got okay. a full-blown game time here. Going to have a couple of short hop forward airs there. Going to get some action over the whip. Is great into the jab lock. Off stage and expects some boots here, but no, instead goes for the back air. Not able to find it, Let, misses the knee as well. However, Zofrito already finding 60%. I mean, that's a great way to start this off. Oh, and using that perfect short hop again and again. Captain Falcon, once he goes in, he has a hard time turning around. So the fact that he is just waiting, standing still, walking around before committing the dash, that's huge from Zofrito. Good understanding of movement. Yeah, absolutely. Not only a good understanding of movement, but just a great understanding of the Ooh. character as a whole. Speaking of Sofrito, picks up that first stock elimination, putting Lycoming in the lead here. So a great opportunity to take this lead and run with it. Coming in hot, already able to find 31%, but taking 51 in the process. A little bit of back and forth here with Sofrito really coming in strong. 
Yeah, and now you're up against the ledge trapping. That could be crucial, but that is some nice SDI up to get out of the down angled forward smash. Give you a second lease on life, and you know Sofrito's gonna use it as they land the up airs. Absolutely, the up airs coming through. We're gonna have some great action now. This is gonna be a little bit of pressure coming through. Oh, Karina gonna get a little bit of courageous there on the side. I think was going for a ledge grab, looking for those iframes, but no iframes making an appearance quite yet. Yeah, and now you can see Eddie is starting to figure out the pace that Sofrito is approaching with because Sofrito can't quite approach in the same way. But it doesn't matter, Sofrito still has a strong lead. It doesn't matter that they can't rush down Eddie like Ugh. they did before. They're still going to get the two frame, get them out of there. It's three stocks to one. Yeah, three stocks to one. I mean, like I said, I, I watched a Captain Falcon nine stock last time I was here at ECAC. Wouldn't be surprised to see it happen again. So Frito now has Karina on that final stock. A great combo coming through. And just for those who may be confused, Sofrito is from CSI. Karina is from Lycoming. We're getting that fixed right now. But either way, so Frito, no matter which school they're representing, they're coming in hot here. Able to find some great value up to 60%. However, you're getting to that 170. That was going to be some great action. I mean, so Frito's getting in that danger zone where all Karina has to do is hit neutral B, right? And Falcon's going to lose that stock. Some of what Sofrito is doing is blowing my mind, but specifically the parries, how they're approaching with shield, they're untouchable. 184% no oh. strong moves except the up smash. The double foot is going to be all you need to get the three stock. Septilence, you hyped it up. There's an opportunity for another Captain Falcon 9 stock here in ECAC. Sometimes you speak things into existence entirely on accident, Miles, and I'm a little bit afraid that may happen here. Captain Falcon is one of those characters that, you know, at least to me, is very... Your, the, the skill floor is very low, but the skill ceiling is incredibly high. So Captain Falcon's going to really be anywhere across the board of good to great. And so Frito so far, I mean, has very clearly made a great appearance. And one thing I saw from Sofrito that made me love them is their adaptation mid-combo. Yes. They got the down throw, and they accidentally, instead of doing a VAR back air, they did a turnaround nair. And most players, especially on Wi-Fi, will just autopilot through the combo and completely drop it. Sofrito got an amazing tech chase. It got, like, I think 60 or 70% off of it. Yeah. Like, no. It's it's been pretty crazy. The short the utilization of short hops you touched on that kind of in the middle of the matchup there is super important for Captain Falcons. If you're a little bit too floaty, you're gonna get caught out. If you don't jump often enough, again, especially against projectiles, you're gonna get caught out. So Sofrito doing a really great job with the short hops, especially into we saw what was it? I mean, short hop forward air, short hop forward air. We saw that happen over and over and over, and it worked every single time. A great combo starter, and Sofrito just cleaning up on every single one of them. Yeah, and short hops weren't the only tool. They were also just using those parries. I, I think they had three really crucial parry openings, so they had a couple more sprinkled in every now and then, where they'd get off ledge and just wait. They'd wait for the big option to be committed, and I don't really think it was a reaction. They just have a feel for how long Simon likes to charge those smash attacks up, and Captain Falcon, well... He's got a need for speed, and he's going to use it to <laughs> clean your clock, you know? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. The speed advantage there definitely helps out Falcon, and the only way, I think, in a Belmont situation to play would really be, you know, hide ledge, hide platforms, and just projectile spam, but Sofrito did such a good job of not letting them find space, not giving them a moment to think that Karina really struggled to even hit the B button, because every time it was hit, you know, Sofrito was right on top of you. Yeah, and there are some things to do, because you remember, this is a best of three crew battle, so there's opportunities yes. for adaptation later on. You can definitely, for example, the Belmont's amazing up B out of shield that Captain Falcon has a hard time contesting. It's disjointed, and it flings him too far away to really zoom back in and get the punish. Just having that as an option, demonstrating that you are willing to commit that, it, it just makes them think twice before jumping right on top of you. Absolutely. And I think shielding a little bit more from Karina would have been beneficial there. I think that's something we really didn't see a lot of. It was just that constant trying to get away from the Falcon. When in reality, sometimes, you know, shielding, like you said, up being out of shield, kind of opening up your own opportunity to find combos, I think could have been very successful. But that is the beauty of this is that wasn't your only attempt. You do get another one. We're going to go back through, have another best of three. And that's assuming it's in a 2-0 fashion. So we may get three of them. You know, everybody might get to play three times. It depends how far down the ladder we actually get. Now, do you happen to know who is coming up next, Miles? Well, from Lycoming, I think if they haven't changed it right, it's going to be Remesis. And, well, the thing about this, if there is one character that is more explosive in the modern metagame than Captain Falcon, 
it's the brand new kid on the block, Kazuya. Yeah. Well, and not the new kid on the block anymore. Well, Sora, Sora, Sora yeah. has made an appearance. So is Sora legal now in ECAC? I I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> the, the new kid on the block for ECAC, but not not for Smash as a whole. <laughs> very true. Very true. But either way, both of these characters really do have the touch of death, and yeah. they can get it from anything: a landing aerial, a mid-air aerial, even a lot of their grounded options. So. It's going to be a lot of footsies, reminiscent yeah. of traditional fighters as they look for that one big opening. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, we've got to remember, you know, Katsuya's got some insane moves. The the funny fist, right? My favorite Katsuya <laughs> combo. Press A 12 times. Um, So there's a lot of great opportunities here for like homing to come around and find some great value. And it's going to be Remisa starting super strong. But Sofrito, great job with that forward air there, able to find that catch. And now already stacking, there's another combo straight into 50%. Went for the hard read right there, but seeing the start of that 10 hit combo is just an invitation in. Sofrito going for a couple more hard reads very early on. They, we didn't really see that much of Karina. I think Sofrito kind of feeling themselves in the neutral here. Yes, yeah, Sofrito making it through the first game with out losing a single stock, really trying to get aggressive. Might go for the fist here, or the boots, excuse me. But no, it's going to be Kazuya getting back up on stage. Remesis doing a great job. Just really staying alive, but drops shield through the Falcon Kick. Armor's through, so the knockback wasn't there, but it looks like Sofrito's going to be able to capitalize off the back of this anyway. That's the first time I've seen a reverse knee in Smash Ultimate in a long time. That's more of a melee technique right there, but they still hit it quite good. And now they've got Eddie on let or Ramis is on ledge, rather. Not going to quite get the tech chase, but it doesn't matter because the up air is still a true follow-up. Yeah, so Sofrito is getting to that point where I'm... I'm getting a little worried we might not see anybody else from CSI play. Um, so Frito's starting super strong in their second matchup, getting danger close to lapping Remises here in terms of stocks. Ooh. Just a very impressive Captain Falcon and a great shore hop to dodge that new, uh, side special as well. Yeah, not afraid to shore hop empty land, which is the least amount of lag, and that's a nice out of shield option as well. Eating up the percents while you're still a stock up, that's huge. Narrow Fledge, though, does give Eddie an opportunity. So, Remesis, rather, an opportunity. Sorry, I'm Land actively there. Googling character um, pick rates to make sure I shared my fact correctly, but I can't <laughs> find the answer. So, <laughs> it's going to be, I mean, danger close here in terms of percent, but Sofrito's still up by Woo! an entire stock and now up by two. A great back air catches out Remesis in the air. Remesis might be able to pick up this first stock and give like homing even a chance of hope. Yeah, there's that funny combo of press A 10 times, but it works out. It finds that stock. You have died to jab. It's never a good thing, but Sofrito's there to, well, get revenge for it. The knee tech chase right there puts Eddie in disadvantage, but now you get grabbed. 34% and you've got them at ledge, but they haven't been really able to hit any huge combo starters on Sofrito. Yeah, that, that's definitely been the issue here. As we talked about right at the beginning, um, Kazuya, you know, coming from Tekken, oh. such a combo-based character, but when Sofrito doesn't let you find combos, you are really stuck between a rock and a hard place. Sofrito walking away with the second round win only has to make it through one more player to put CSI up 1-0 on the series. Sep, I... The last time I saw Sofrito... They were a clean Captain Falcon player. They were good enough to stick in my mind throughout all this time, but they were not this. They have picked up some new technology since I last saw them because, oh my word, they, they're just deconstructing these people. And yeah. of course, there are some stray hits right there, and I feel like Kazuya's stray hits are stronger than most, which allowed that stock to be taken. But either way, if all you're taking... If all that's happening is you catching strays, you're not really in much danger, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think you're spot on. Like we talked about, Kazuya needs combos to succeed. Any Tekken character would. And I think just Sofrito doing a great job to make sure nothing could really happen. Now coming up for like homing is going to be Eddie in that third and final slot here in game one. And I can now share the fact, you know, I believe I'm not positive on this. I believe Corin, who is the character that is listed for Eddie, is the least chosen character in Smash Ultimate. It's either Corrin or Robin. I don't remember which one, and whichever one it is, the other one's not much higher on the list. So <laughs> I know that Corrin is one of the least chosen characters in the game. However, Eddie does say they also play Kazuya on occasion, so maybe he busts out that funny fist once again, trying to, 
I don't. That's that's tough though because Sofrito just played Acacia, right? So he is he's ready for that matchup. Yeah, and I I really think you've got to bank it on matchup. Not even matchup familiarity, just character familiarity. Like when you list the character as your main, they're usually your first love, right there. Like that's right. you go back to them when you need comfort, and comfort is, well, it's a tough commodity right now for the uh, uh, Lycoming, rather. Um, I mean, Eddie has so many obstacles to go through, and it's the same thing as when you're down three stocks to one, where you're like. Oh, all I need to do is do to them what they just did to me, and it's even. <laughs> However, it's a different beast altogether when it's in a crew battle, you know? Like, yeah. It's tough. And now, when you're in Eddie's slot, you don't just have to, you know, get through Sofrito. You then have to get through six more stocks to turn this around. You only have three, so that is really... You've got three, you've got to get through eight. That is, of course, mathematically a very difficult thing to do, and... I'm curious what's going to be done here. Eddie, I have never seen before, so I'm really excited to see. Is this going to be the person to put Sofrito in their place and really kind of keep the dream alive for Lycoming, or are we going to jump already into part two of the series? Yeah, I mean, playing the space game is good, and additionally, you've got a slow, but albeit extremely powerful up out of shield if you catch... Uh, well, we saw early on uh, Sofrito was really feeling themselves with some of the... like unnecessary smash attacks i mean a lot of them weren't even gonna kill if you catch them doing any of that and you're able to catch them with corn's amazingly strong options right there's a chance there's a chance and fd i think is a really good pick yeah i definitely agree i think fd is going to be a great opportunity here um so frito's gonna have to struggle to engage because there's no platforms to catch or anything so you kind of just get to storm forward and i was thinking eddie was going to be able to hone their distance a little bit more rely on that counter maybe a little bit but so far, Eddie already being caught out for 42%. Yeah, and, well, Eddie has the opportunity at ledge, but the landing there is not nearly close enough to catch anything. There's the tech chase right there. Goes to the jab lock, but Eddie wisely DIs off. Trying to get a combo start of their own with these nares, but even though they take space, they take it, they take it, and then they get hit, and they've got to take it all over again. Yeah, the, the space is so difficult to work with because it's that it's that short success of finding space and then you've really got to fight for it and try to keep it alive. Eddie, though, is actually getting something going, dowsing the flames just a little bit. So Frito having to think a lot more as, well, they're the one not getting much more than a stray hit nowadays. And yeah. getting the reversal right there. <laughs> Yeah, I think you really brought up a great point there. So Frito was kind of in the driver's seat, so to speak. A great parry, though, to keep the dream alive. Can I find that equalizer in terms of percent? But so Frito, of course, down to that second stock, has to start with it as the crew battle dictates. Able to find it out, a great shot there. On to Eddie, able to tie up the stock percent, but now 120% separates the team. Oh, and I love that option right there. Going all the way off, is that the jump cut? Not gonna get the two frame, but so Frito's still in a really bad position. Overcommits, now they're down to one stock. Yeah, one stock left. So Frito, may, we may actually get to see somebody else from CSI play. I mean, we've seen So Frito take three oh. stocks without losing any, and Eddie, I'm calling that an SD. I mean, that is a valiant effort was made, but unfortunately, just not the positive momentum that like homing really needs right now. And oh, oh no, no, oh no, oh I, no. I can't. I'm not gonna try to explain what happened because I don't even know what they could have been going for so i'm just gonna focus on the first stock <laughs> because the first stock was good except the, it like it was they were like i said they were taking space methodically and once they had sofrito figured out a little bit they were out of the combo range they were actually winning the neutral the majority of the time and then it went downhill really fast i don't even know if it went downhill it just went straight down it it just <laughs> Oh man, that, you know, as, as a wise man once said, we absolutely take those, right? <laughs> I mean, that is, that is still, that is still a win. And in a scenario like this, I mean, that's, that's not quite a nine stock, right? It's not completely a nine stock for Sofrito. He took all nine of them, technically speaking, but he did lose one of his own along the way. Either way, a phenomenal performance from the Captain Falcon. Nothing against Sofrito. I hope CSI starts with somebody else in the next series, simply so we can see someone else. Uh, 
Yeah, I was a little curious about that because last year, Sofrida was understandably the anchor for the College right. of Staten Island. And this time they were opening up. I'm like, who's this new talent that bumped Sofrida all the way to the front of the lineup? If they're all, like, some people do crew battles differently. Some people send in the anchor first. But if they are having a traditional team setup set, and everyone there is another hidden boss. The yeah. College of Staten Island is a team to watch. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I definitely want to keep an eye out. I think you made a great point there is that's what kind of my favorite thing about these traditional crew battles is teams get to pick what order they put their players in, right? Obviously. And that's always super interesting because some teams will put their best player in the front. They will try to mow down as many people as possible so the rest of the team can kind of pick up the slack a little bit. Or like you mentioned, you know, you keep that anchor in the bottom slot and then they can clean up anything that kind of fell upon them. I, I think putting the anchor in the front personally is the best idea because then they can burn through as many people as possible where, you know, if you put the anchor last and somebody on the other team has already six stocked your team, you've got to get through three people. And that, that just feels a little bit harder to put on the uh, best player's shoulders, so to speak. 100%. As Sofrito, well, they definitely had the gumption to be the anchor or the opener. I, I honestly... I'm more of a fan of the anchor at the end. I, I'm a traditionalist in that sense, in that I feel like there is some power that can awaken in people when they know like, that how much ground they have to take. The plot armor, if you will. Exactly. Like, yeah. it's good to have the battering ram right out the gate, but yeah. then once they fall and you've got to deal with that the plot armor towards the end, then it can get a little dicey. That's why yes. teams that are well balanced, I think, are more dangerous than teams Absolutely. with a really good player. <laughs> Absolutely. We, we see that in a lot of games. I, I think uh, Smash and Rocket League both being kind of the best examples of that, where teams that have one good player are never going to be as as strong as three teams with three okay players, right? It's that well-rounded concept, that mindset of one person can only carry so hard. Yeah, I, yeah, it's honestly going to be a little tough, but honestly, Sep, you know how you can play to win? Do you? Oh, wait, we, we don't have time. We don't have time to know how to play Devastating. to win. We're just going to have to show. Yeah, I guess we're just going to have to watch and find out. We're just gonna they're going to find out. They're going to show us how to win, and I, I, I can't wait to see what's going to be coming up. We've got... The uh, good old fashioned uh, uh, run it back, if you will. So Frito is going to be on that Captain Falcon making the opening appearance, and I believe it's Karina on the side of Lycoming. I mean, yes? Question mark. Um, so it is going to be Karina rocking the core in this time. And so Frito does get put in a tech chase situation, but now you've got a tech chase of your own, and you know you're going to get a lot more oh, mileage no. off of them, carrying them all the way off. But they saved their jump. They're able to escape. Yeah, just barely able to make it out. I thought so. Frito was going to go for the back air, maybe even the down air, but didn't land either of those quite yet. He's going to be coming through to pick up an additional 70% here, barely taking 20 in the process. CSI coming through might be able to find some positivity, but unfortunately, it looks like they're not going to be able to pick up anything yet. So Frito, I don't know. I, I feel so Frito's playing a little bit slower than we were used to. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you use up that momentum, but I think that's more on like homing than it is Sofrito. Like sure. homing, getting the edge on how Sofrito likes to approach. So Sofrito's got to change it up. That dash attack just running right in. That's not a Sofrito play right there, but it did work to put Eddie or Karina in disadvantage as the backer sends him off as well. Yeah, and I remember you talked about, you know, Miles, you were mentioning uh, one of the greatest things about Sofrito as a player is that mid game adaptation. We're already seeing that right here before our very eyes. I believe that is the first up B that we have seen from Sofrito the entire time they have been on screen. So that is just going to be a great example of changing pace. I'd suspect maybe a Falcon kick or two to make an appearance simply because nobody's really expecting one to show up. He hasn't really been utilizing that. Might be able to find the boots, but nope. Goes for the forward shot instead. Tries to go off the side rather than straight down. Now up to 110%, but Sofrito is no stranger to taking stocks at this high of a percentage. However, losing them, that is something new for Sofrito. Karina actually able to get one off the board. And with Sofrito 
kind of dashing around here. Again, what I liked about Sofrito early on was how they were very cautious with their movement. Not going for these dash grabs, not committing dashes at all, because Captain Falcon actually is one of the worst dash backs in the entire game. So once you go in, you are going in. Right. Yeah, you, you don't really get to hesitate. You don't get to make a second choice when you're going in. You are 100% going in. Now Sofrito goes for the parries, trying to find a great opportunity to re-engage, looking for some shield opportunities. Can't find any, though. There's that Falcon kick. Glad to see that I was right. Now, going to be tied up here in terms of percent and stock. Sofrito really struggling to engage. The uh, the copycat engagements aren't working anymore. Sofrito's really having to change it up mid-set. Yeah, and another adaptation coming from Karina right here is these low lag moves going for the jab instead of just always going for stronger options, meaning that if they do get the parry, then they're just going to get themselves punished. Absolutely. I've got to say, Karina, she is just, I don't know, tearing it up across the board right now, really keeping Sofrito so neck and neck. It's a feat entirely in its own right. Very impressive. So far, let's see if she can take any additional stocks here. Sofrito's already up to 120 again. Oh, this is Eddie, by the way. This is not Karina. But either way, Eddie coming through, doing a great job. I've got to say, you know, Eddie doing notably better than last time, right? Not SDing two times in a row. That is a very easy step to take, but it's definitely making a big difference. If I, You know, this might prove your point, Miles. If, if you get rid of this best player early, what happens to the rest of CSI? Yeah, that's the question that remains to be seen, because we don't know what happens to the rest of CSI. So Frida didn't let him come out to play last time. And, well... Even if Eddie does drop this stock, I don't think Sofrito is going to get the same dominance that we saw last time as that is dash check right there. And the jab at ledge, the option coverage right now. Like I said, these faster wow. options have been toughing Sofrito out. But opportunity for a reversal went for it all right there. Yeah, Sofrito really taking the high risk, going for the boots, trying to send it home. Eddie, like you said, really great ledge coverage options, really great engagement, and catching out these side specials just over and over again has Sofrito up to 90%, but you can't get too aggressive, you can't have too much hubris, because Captain Falcon will combo you into absolute oblivion. Eddie playing super careful, trying to cover this ledge as many times as possible, gets caught out, will not fall for the up, the up smash. I, I don't know, I, I think Eddie's really got this, and they just continue to play safe. So Frida spacing just beat a move that spaces itself. <laughs> That's what I've got to say. So Frida had the perfect overshoot right there that got the opening, but it's still not enough because you're still stuck at ledge. But that forward smash has become a little too common an option for Manny. Yeah. Grab it, getting the grab, it's not enough to kill quite yet. Yeah, you beat me too, and I was just thinking that exact same thing. The uh, forward smash becoming a little bit predictable for Eddie there. We've seen that more than any other move this series, I'm sure of it. And there it is again, so really trying to use that as a consistent coverage option of ledge. Not quite able to find it, but this was, I mean, in the time that Sofrito has gained 30%, Eddie has gained nearly 100. So this has really turned back over the up throw. It's still not going to kill. Here's a grab probably in the Another forward one? throw. No, up throw again, but that does it. Sofrito will fall. Eddie surviving by the skin of their teeth with one stock remaining. Yeah, that was hard fought, but 100% worth it. Because now you've put CSI in a position they have not been in the entire time. They don't have Sofrito there. And we don't know how crucial Sofrito is to this lineup. Right. Like, I'm curious to see how the rest of the team is going to pan out now that the leading battering ram isn't there. Yeah, absolutely. And the uh, two characters remaining, now Duncan Brown, Captain Falcon, I would never consider him meta, so to speak, or S tier. He's a good character, right? The other two from CSI are, I will choose to say, less conventional. These are characters I feel we really don't see that often. One of them we see with a very specific Smash Ultimate player that continues to win tournaments with her, and it baffles me every time. The other one was my main in Melee, so I haven't seen her in a long time. But case in point, these are just two characters that maybe they have an advantage here because like homing has to be so not familiar with playing them that is one amazing point you just made there Seth. where by putting your anchor first and winning outright without revealing any information now they're going in blind it's just like the first match all over again except they know uh the college of satin island knows exactly what is coming up well like yep like homing is just going to be guessing yeah, no, this is gonna be this is gonna be interesting. Like homing, they have to completely guess. They're they're throwing ideas at a wall, hoping any of them stick. And then, unless they have a very specific one trick at their locals, these are two characters. They're probably not familiar with the matchup all in all. You know, like I said, other than their experience in melee, which is at this point a completely different game. I 
I think CSI, I think they've got the knowledge advantage. I think they've got the weird character pick advantage. I, it, It's really going to come down to the skill, the skill difference here. Which one of these teams walks away with the second game? Second set, rather. Yeah. And we'll really have to see, because I do think we have... Like, I do think they have a chance. Like, between the matchups that we're going to be seeing, I, again, I don't want to spoil it too much so far, but I, I really do think, in theory, Ramesis, or uh, Ramesis, rather, does do pretty well against closing the distance here. It all depends, though, because they have the opportunity to counterpick. Yeah. They... It's all on them. So we'll see who, what bit of information they choose to reveal next. I'm, I'm curious. Yeah, I definitely agree. I'm trying not to give away too much information. I don't want people to, you know, I don't want them to maybe watch the stream or whatever and figure out the things they aren't supposed to know quite yet about CSI. However, I, I, I'm i excited. The next player coming out from CSI is Yotin, I believe is how that's to be said. I'm Yotin, not sure. but I think. Y Yotin, they are yeah. playing... Um, like I said, my, my main from Melee, so I'm very excited. That narrows it down to, what, 16 people that it could be? That's not going to that's not gonna change things up or be well, if you too much of a reveal. Well, if you down to the top tiers, then... Um, well, but, then you're yeah. not going to get this character. I... That's true, that's true. <laughs> Are they viable? That's the question, that's the question. Well, the most recent tier list says yes, and personally, I agree. But either way... I feel like this character has the best opportunity to continue the sweep, and what this is going to tell me is if it was the strategy to kind of just rush down, literally have a rush down in terms of team mechanics, and just use Sofrida to barrel down everyone, or if literally everyone on CSI is at that level. Yeah, I mean, if everybody in CSI is at that level, that is going to be... Uh, I, I don't want to call it a rude awakening for like homing, but that is going to be quite the surprise. We're going to see yeah, that, that reset coming in from Eddie. I always forget for just a brief moment. I'm always like, oh, what is going on? I'm like, oh, yeah, wait, we're, we're in a crew Eddie battle. Flashbacks <laughs> to yeah, yeah, yeah. Eddie, Eddie really freaking me out with that double SD there. But that, that one is luckily enough intentional now. I mean, Yotin's got three stocks to work with, right? You've just got to get rid of one. But... Bunch of fire a little bit by going for some really aggressive options like up air out of shield. That is the hardest read I've ever seen for a option I don't even think Eddie had. Speaking of hardest reads, come on, roll behind charge forward smash. Are you kidding me, Eddie? I mean, you haven't been touched yet, so it can't be that bad, but still. Yeah. Oh, golly gee. Uh, that is going to be quite the way to start things off here. We see Yotin losing that first stock before finding any damage onto Eddie, but going to pick that up finally up to 60%. Finds that up special. Up special with Samus is not going to kill practically ever. <laughs> yeah, you got to get pretty lucky and pretty high up with that thing to make it work, but you still definitely get some free damage in there. Rolling in though, however, going to stack up an additional 30% for Justin or for Yotin. And right now, CSI is going to be feeling grateful for how dominant that first crew battle was because at least they have time to adapt now. But Yotin, looking to not let this get too far out of their grasp. Getting their own ledge trap going. And there's the up air to shield. Maybe it's a little more viable on these taller characters. Yeah, absolutely. And I love that immediate uh, uh, ledge coverage option of dropping the bomb to make sure you can catch them in recovery. Able to do it again there, but it's not going to eat the recovery quite like you need it to. Now it's going to be Yotin, 140%. You've just got to flick corn in the ribs here to find that kill. And I, I don't know how that up special killed, but I mean, a kill is a kill. We take those. Yeah, I mean, at 150%, anything is possible. Very true. Uh, especially with multi-hits, sometimes you'll just go flying. And you've got to accept that. And some labber on Twitter will be like, well, actually, if you know the 27th hitbox of Samus' is up B is that... Listen, sometimes you just got to accept it. And that's the way it is. And what they can accept right now is they do currently hold the 6-5 to five lead because Eddie took that stock. Yeah, 6-5 to five lead. Of, of, it doesn't sound like it's a very large lead, but we've seen games come down to this so many times. Last hit, last stock scenarios. And if you don't have that last stock, you're quite obviously going to lose. So we're really going to have to see Yotin turn this one around, maybe find a stock early, and just immediately tie things up in that 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, as 
Now, I have to assume, are they sticking to the same order? I mean, well, obviously not, because Eddie came out first. And up against this Samus, again, between the, who was it? Yes, yeah, Simon and Kazuya, or possibly Sephiroth from Karina. Who are you favoring more? I think, hmm. I think Sephiroth could work well here. I think he's got really good rushdown potential. His sword is 10,000 feet long. And I, I don't know, but... It's gonna be Simon. Dang it! I, I, I'm worried about this because I feel like Samus can out projectile Simon. And the approaching Zare too is yeah. It, it's a tool. I mean, Simon can match blow for blow with a lot of Samus's tools, except for that Zare. That Zare is the one wrench in the whole equation. And without any platforms to work with, I feel like Samus, just a little bit cleaner movement, is gonna benefit from this. I will hardly the green. Well, as. Uh, uh, just because I'm not sure if that's me or Sept. Yeah, that is Sept. So, either way. Immediately. Eddie is at a serious deficit right now, reminiscent of the last game, and using that bomb to combo into the grab, too. They're using these bombs to just trip up Eddie's rhythm. They're, they're going to have to delay actions by just a second if they want to avoid getting hit. But that delay, if you get caught doing it, is just going to eat you a charge shot to the face. Right now, your team holding the lead after being down a stock to start out. As now... Ooh, they get the tech chase with that charge shot. And with an air sending them off stage as well. No jump! With the tether and recovery being interrupted like that... Oh no, Karina really struggling. She's going to have to pull out something big right here. But <sighs> throwing out that line, it looks more like fishing than anything. As you're almost able to get off ledge, but then you get caught by the one thing. There's a lot of almost right here. As your team leaves the door open just to crack and then slams it back down on you as soon as you think you're going to be able to get in and contest it. Snapping right to ledge again though. But they're not able to get off again. These bombs are scared, but no bomb there this time. But they still overcommit with the forward air, trying to read a jump, but it's not going to be enough. And that forward air is so much laggier than the Zare. The Nair at ledge is going to be the finisher. As there's a three stock from Yotin, giving the lead solidly back to CSI. As, well, now it's starting to look like a runaway train. This is the issue with sending in your anchor in first. It's why I did not really agree with it when we saw it previously. Because when you lose that anchor, even if you win the duel, then you're banking everything on your other players. And that doesn't sound like a bad thing. Like, I say it out loud now, and I'm like, well, banking everything on your teammates, believing in the power of friendship, that's a good thing, right? Well, yes. But you have to be honest about your, uh... <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, you've got to be honest about your capabilities as a team. Zeppelin's appears to see some sort of bug or something very intently staring at it. You all know how it is. We're going to be back to regularly scheduled programming in just a little bit, but for now you'll have to enjoy my presence solely. As we've got the one, one player left. It's going to be the Kazuya. Uh, Remesis. Remesis definitely does have some openings here. The fact that Kazuya is able to just dash through most projectiles in the game is a massive advantage against zoners. You're able to go right under the projectile spam, forcing them to rely a lot more on the Zare, and while the Zare is hard to punish, if it's the only option coming out, then Kazuya can easily backdash and then go straight back in for the kill. As possibly... Do we have a resurrection? Uh, yeah. Either way, as we finish up getting this sorted out, we're going to go to a quick break. When we return, we ret return to what could possibly be the last match of the crew battle. So don't go anywhere. The stakes are high. Shine out, think it's my time too. Careful them dollar signs, like lights, they'll blind you. Let me rewind to back when I was broken, I couldn't acquire two cents, and now I got two rents. They were sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big. 
on my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like canned food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I wanna see the world, my vision on sham mood. I mean, I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Your offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I gotta do it big, that's the only way I can live. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. What sound experience would you like today? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Accept and ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, jobs that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Yes, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a sore, I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to. Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you. There was Nowhere, Ohio is my internet is garbage, but alas, we are back. We are ready for some Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, and it looks like it is going to be a little bit of action coming out. Kazuya v. Samus, and if I'm not mistaken, it all comes down to this, right? Yep, all comes down to this. A jewel can... No, that's the wrong game. Either way, <laughs> as... <laughs> well, with the Shine Spark right there, it might as well be a duel, as it it's just so tough for Eddie to get in. Especially without crouch dashes, you've got to get that online. Like, in this matchup in particular, Kazuya does have some options, but it's one of your best ones, and we did see an, uh, an attempt at doing it right there. Absolutely, and already up to 140%. If Yotin can tie this up uh, pretty aggressively, right, turns those two stocks, or three stocks into two, and can tie up the engagement just two to two as a whole, that could really be a great opportunity to turn this around. But grab possibly in a back throw. No, chooses up throw instead. Probably just as an excuse to charge that neutral B, honestly. Landing even part of that neutral B will throw him into the stratosphere, and now things tied up two to two. And only a very slight lead, and as soon as you drop that charge shot, it's taken away and reading the air dodge in with the up tilt as well. Now, Eddie, you know they've got to be struggling just a little bit, but you do have Samus above you. Samus, some good landing tools, but not the best. Yeah. You're able to escape the platform, though. Yeah, Samus not exactly notorious for her um, drop-down engagements, so having her above you is a bit of a blessing. She might be able to find a down air, which can really deal some damage, but it's uh, got some serious end lag on it as well. So as long as you can avoid it, you can keep yourself alive. Now goes for the bomb off ledge again. I love the strat. Farms a little bit of extra damage, but it does reset the recovery as well, I believe. So now we've got Yotin looking to find that second stock before losing, you know, technically their first. And... They're going to lose the Rage Buster as well. One of your best chances of getting a kill right there. But 10-hit combo. 
You can't go oh! there because oh, oh, that's a hard read. That's a call out right there, saying I know you like to stay grounded, but I'm gonna put that theory to the test. Read like a children's book right there. Just, I mean, effortless. A great shot from Yotin there, really keeping that engagement alive. And I, I, for a brief moment, I thought it was a shield poke, and I was like, no way. But now it, it was just a phenomenal read coming out there. Remise is just not able to find the proper engagement tools here. And goes for the three-hit combo there, but it's not oh, going to the ledge. And when you're not, you don't have the perfect spacing, you've got to go for the best recovery you can. And they they knew. As soon as they had them off stage without the jump right there, they're like, okay, there's only one option he could go for. Let me just cover this and game over. 2-0, College of Staten Island. Yeah, College of Staten Island, they are coming in strong, keeping um, my own streak alive of I have never cast anything that wasn't a 2-0. Yeah, well, this crew battle format, it can be a little tricky with it. I, I mean, it's adaptation to the next level because not only are you adapting on your own, you should have your teammates there to talk with you and so you're not missing anything obvious. Right. And especially right there, when, when at, even after they, they defeated, defeated Sofrito, Sofrito all, all I, I really have to do commend to commend them for that because they got so much. Like Homing was able to battle through that initial wall, and then they had no information. They had nothing to discuss because they had no idea what was coming next. Yeah, absolutely. Just no idea what was making an appearance, what was going to be that engagement. But that is just. I don't know. Hats off. That was just very impressive. I really didn't expect, um, I don't know, as close as the series in the second one, after the way it was just a Captain Falcon in game one, I really thought we were going to get a repeat there in game two. But just all things considered, very great adaptation across the board. Yeah, definitely play to win. And if you want to play to win, well, I've got the thing for you. Because Lenovo Legion, they know you play to win. To stand out from the competition, you need equipment that matches the speed of your thoughts and actions. The Legion Y25 monitor delivers wins in the toughest, most critical situations, which, well, I think we saw a couple of those right there. <laughs> With its extreme one millisecond response time to its insane 240 hertz refresh rate, the Legion Y25 doesn't just keep up, but it does a lot more. Built for those engaged in vast multiplayer battles at the tournament level, uh, hello. The Legion Y25 offers a 24.5 inch FHD IPS panel with built in NVIDIA G Sync compatibility. And the Legion Y25 monitor, it's available at Lenovo.com and other fine retailers if you want to get one of your own. You got to be able to see what's happening if you win. You can't win with your eyes closed. Absolutely. You can't win with a broken monitor either. I mean, there's just some great things that that can offer. But yeah, of course, huge shout out because the Legion Y25 monitor is amazing. I don't have one, to be honest. I wish I did, but I do not. And if you guys are interested in getting new monitors, definitely check those out. I believe, however, it is time to throw it to a super short break. I believe we're going to pull an interviewee in here and we'll be back with that information soon. We're gonna to try to get an interview in here and we'll see you folks in just a couple of minutes. Blocking the shine, I think it's my time too. Careful them dollar signs, like lights, they'll blind you. Let me rewind to back when I was broken, I couldn't acquire two cents, and now I got two wrists. They were sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big. Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like canned food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world, my vision on Shamu. I mean, I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Y'all offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I got to do it big. That's the only way I can live. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. What sound experience would you like today? I'll have the Fantasy Pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On its way, sir. Sounds amazing. 
the HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Wow. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars, is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. Hey, man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Yeah, I think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a sore, I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars, is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to, before you count me out, homie, let me remind you, they was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to, count them dollar signs like lights, they'll blind you, let me rewind to, back when I was broken, I couldn't acquire two cents, and now I got two wrists, they was sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big, call my phone, I be like, who this, damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new, smell like can too, I'm fresh forever like can food, try and tell me what I can't do, I wanna see the world, my vision on share mood, I mean I got goals that's real big, foes that's real big, you're off too little. Sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows, that's real big. I gotta do it big. That's the only way I can live. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. <laughs> The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. What sound experience would you like to know? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Wow. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars, is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. Hey, man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Yeah, I think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a sore, I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little my god is real big stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big i gotta do it big the only way that i can live and i promise i'm trying to before you count me out homie let me remind you they was blocking the shine now i think it's my time to count for them dollar signs like lights they'll blind you let me rewind to back when i was broken i couldn't acquire two cents and now i got two wrists they were sleeping on me homie must have got too big 
Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like canned food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I wanna see the world, my vision on share mood. I mean, I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Your offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I gotta do it big, that's the only way I can live. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. What sound experience would you like today? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Accept and ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. Just kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Easy, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just start I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a saw, I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. Just kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to, before you count me out, homie, let me remind you, they was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to, careful them dollar signs, like lights, they'll blind you, let me rewind to, back when I was broken, I couldn't acquire two cents, and now I got two rents, they was sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big, <laughs> call my phone, I be like, who this, damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new, smell like canned too, I'm fresh forever like canned food, try and tell me what I can't do, I wanna see the world, my vision on share mood, I mean I got goals that's real big, foes that's real big, your offer too little, Sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows, that's real big. I gotta do it big, that's the only way I can live. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Christine? And... One more welcome back, everybody here from the ECAC Smash Ultimate Week 5. Before we call it a night, we are going to get the opportunity to interview catch, c coach, captain, and friend Sly. Sly, how do you feel? After a pretty convincing victory there, I mean, you guys are now 4-1. and one. Moving into the rest of the season, how do you feel? I mean, I feel amazing. I'm really proud of my guys. They've come, like, really far. And so it's only our second year in the league, but, I mean, we're just on another great start to another season, and I'm really proud of them. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, just kind of, a, you know, almost a repeat of the question, but get a little more specific, of course, is how do you feel about your odds for the rest of this? Do you think you guys can take it all the way down, all the way down the line, all the way to the end of the wire here? Yeah, I mean, last year, we I, we really thought it was going to be our year. We went really far. We only had one loss, you know, and I, I really think we could do it again. And just at this time, I think we're already a little bit more prepared. We have, a, you know, get the, the first year jitters out of the way. I of think course. we're going to go far this year. And as you mentioned, in that previous season, you had a pretty impressive run, if I do say so myself. But it wasn't untouchable, so do you have any rivals or enemies you want to, not enemies, uh, friendly competitors you want to get revenge on going into this season? Anyone you're training for in particular? 
Uh, I remember one school in particular that you know it's uh, burned a little bit into uh, our uh, our hearts. It's a uh, Sac State. You know they're a great opponents. We faced them in both the ECAC and in our bid in the CENC, and they knocked us out both times. And you know I, it would be nice to be able to play them again and get a, get a little bit of revenge. You know we've been practicing a lot for that, so I, I'm looking forward to see if we uh, face them sometime soon. So. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. That is that's always exciting. Those friendly rivalries just add a whole new layer to this whole esports thing that I'm always a huge fan of. So Sly, uh, one more question. I actually wanted to ask you a very, very quick one. Just while you're here in the interview, you know, is there anybody you want to thank or like anybody you want to shout out just while everybody, while you're at the center of attention, is there anything you want to <laughs> thank somebody for? I mean, I don't really want to call on anybody in particular. I just want to thank the guys for, you know, showing sure. up for another year and, yeah, I couldn't be on the, the the ECAC team this year, and I, one person I would like to thank specifically is Alondi Keith. Stepped up first, he came in as a coach, wound up being a player, and I, he's my second captain in command, taking care of this ECAC team for me for the most part. And uh, yeah, definitely uh, very helpful. <laughs> Awesome. Great, great to hear. Well, Sly, thank you so much for joining us, my friend. It was a pleasure getting to talk to you. And please tell your whole team. You know, we only get to talk to one of you guys, but a huge congrats. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate yeah, that. Of course. Thank you. And with that, folks, we do get to call it a night. I know it was only an hour. It's insane to think that almost 18 stocks of Smash Ultimate were played, but or not really because there was a nine stock in there somewhere. But say la vie, the night is still coming to a close either way. Thank you to both the teams for coming out today. Thank you all so much for joining us. Thank you, Colton, for everything you do in the back line. Thank you, Killer Miles, for joining me. Check your posture. Drink some water. Don't forget to love each other. Everybody, have a great rest of your night. We'll see you next week. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch it. What sound experience would you like to know? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On its way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Ain't accepting ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars, is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. That is comfortable. Y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a sore, I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job that's real big. Satan trying a little my god is real big stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big i gotta do it big the only way that i can live and i promise i'm trying to before you count me out homie let me remind you they was blocking the shine now i think it's my time to capping them dollar signs like lights they'll blind you let me rewind to back when i was broken i couldn't acquire two cents and now i got two rents they were sleeping on me homie must have got too big Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like can food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world, my vision on sham mood. I mean, I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Your offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I got to do it big. That's the only way I can live. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. 
The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch it! What sound experience would you like to know? I'll have the Fantasy Pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing! The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Wow. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars, is real big. I gotta do it big. The only way that I can live. Hey, man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Yeah, I think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a sore, I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars, is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to, before you count me out, homie, let me remind you, they was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to, count for them dollar signs, like lights, they'll blind you, let me rewind to, back when I was broken, I couldn't acquire two cents, and now I got two wrists, they was sleeping on me, homie, must have got two bit. Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like can food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world, my vision on sham mood. I mean, I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Your offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I got to do it big. That's the only way I can live. What would you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch it! What sound experience would you like to know? I'll have the Fantasy Pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars, is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Yeah, I think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a sore, I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. 
gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids as kids. That's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out of finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I gotta do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you They was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to Count them dollar signs like lights, they'll blind you Let me rewind to Back when I was broke and I couldn't acquire two cents And now I got two wrists They were sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new Smell like can too I'm fresh forever like canned food Try and tell me what I can't do